Its host's memories go to waste. The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you. Your muscles loosen. The tadpole breaks free of its deceased host. Your mind is your own again. For now. Man, that thing is quick. Okay. Strain your lip while let its host's memories go to waste. The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience. Cool, let's see what happens. Strengthen. No use. Compulsion. Your actions are no longer your own. as soon as they need to. It's not the worst thing? <laughs> Consume. The parasite is stubborn. It refuses oh. both to leave or to allow itself to be used as you desire. Okay, I still want to kill it. We're going to try to kill it. That might have actually been like an... That's an interesting outcome, but we're going to try to kill it. I want to murder it and see what we get off it. Its host's There's an interesting conversation waste. nearby. The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you, your muscle. Cutting to the chase. Go! Bro. What's not dead? Okay, now it's dead. Seek and you shall find me. Environmental turn? I think I think we're done. Onward then. Um, I feel like it's better alive. I feel like we get more options if it's alive. Yeah. Weird. Okay. Strange, man. You can pick it up when it's alive. Oh, can you? Can we maybe like knock it out or something? I don't know. That's 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 strange. Yeah, we can always kill it later. That's that's the same thing I'm thinking about it too. We can always just kill it later. Strength. Your lip why let its host's memories go to waste. Strength. The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you. Strengthen you. No use. Okay. Yeah, we'll we'll keep this. 
If anything, maybe we can use it to like research them or something. I don't know, man. I feel like that's the right option. So we could have stunned it and then we could have like knocked it out and stuff. So that's good to know. There, there would have been options. Open coffin. Well, that's fun. Oh, we're going to talk to an owlbear. Go down here first. Oh, we got to loot the body. I'm sorry. Of course, we got to loot the body, chat. Of course, we got to loot the body. My class of Jedi? Yes. Shaft of a broken spear. Cool. Could be fun. Inside? Here we go. A viscerated goblin. That's dead. Dead Albert prey, no doubt. It's distress. You feel the quake of its heavy footsteps before you see it. An owlbear, its beaked face looming out of the darkness. What's this? Something weak, something tender. Won't even have to chew you before I feed you to my son. Soft meat. You're injured. There's still half a spear lodged in your head. It's a splinter. I've got a bigger threat than you with worse. Allow me to leave. You're small, weak. Killing you would be a waste of time. You can go, but you make one wrong step and I'll rip you to shreds. Bro, what are you going to do with this stuff? Seriously? My faith will protect me. Okay, wait, wait. Okay. That was not the right move. Co, if you go long rest now, you can loot everything. Really? Would you expect? I didn't expect her to care about loot on the bodies. Never to be honest. The easy path. That wasn't a wrong step. That was the right step to get more loot in my inventory. Stench. Dead Albert prey, no doubt. Hmm. Just saying. It's a splinter. I've got a bigger threat than you is worse. Oh my god. I was trying to put on the inspiration. I think I clicked roll by accident. Quaffle, thank you very much, buddy. Also, thank you. There we go. Got to keep up the immersion. What's inside? You feel won't even have to chew. It's a splinter. I've got a bigger threat than you with worse. 
Okay, let's do this. You can go and then this. Okay, yeah, there we go. I have something to ask. I warned you, soft meat. You don't listen. Oh. So is there anything else we can do here or is that just like a thing? I thought we could talk to her and then help her with the spear and stuff. I guess not. Get away safely, then leave and come back. Um, I can do stuff if you're a druid. How's tactician feeling so far? Pretty good. Did that work? Dang. No owlbear pet? No, I think if you if you kill her, you can get the owl the owlbear pet. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I think. Oh wait, maybe not. Because he's attacking. Oh, well don't don't kill little guy. I have to see. I'm ready. from you to his dead mother. Wake, hungry. A single strike will end his suffering. Let the creature live. It hurts. Hungry, food. You watch speechless as the cub begins to eat his mother. has a fighting chance now. That, or we've just prolonged its misery. Mercy, of course. Tell you monster, am I the monster or? Yo. Absolute Knight blinds targets that fail a dex saving throw. Deals an additional 2 to 12 to certain creatures that support multiple sets of eyes. Cool! Um, okay. Like spoders? Right. <gasps> like spoders? Oh, bad. Look at that thing! Dude, what a badass. Okay, we'll take it. You're gonna get her strength up, man. Okay. Suddenly, Code doesn't feel so bad about this. Ah, eh, you know. In your steel presence, the cub continues to gorge himself on his dead mother. Looking ahead. Ooh, okay. To find a way forward. I'll bear egg. 
Doink. An owlbear egg. These are supposed to be worth a fortune. Oh, cool. Oh, that's not good. Wait. <laughs> this is a very situational thing. Something good here, I hope. What can I do with this? Can I hatch it? Huh. 40 camp supplies. I don't think I want to eat that. I've got a long road ahead. Does killing the baby first, then the mother change anything? I don't know. I'm not going to do that because I'm not a monster. Hatched. No point in taking these. Oh. Ooh. It's a lunar statue in a stinking cave. Hardly a place of honor. A magical seal. No luck picking that. Hmm. Yield its contents easily. Oh. Oh. That hit the spot. Oh, okay, that's um. Dusty volume that speaks of the conflict between the sibling of Sun and Shar, absolutely ignited the sun and brought life sustaining light and warmth to the universe. Okay. Prayer dedicated to Saloon, imploring all to accept the Moon Maiden's blessing and share in her bounty. Just an old prayer. next i wonder salunite prayer how useful an ancient prayer when you got to get this let's go find a bookstore yet uh i don't think so no. Ancient prayer. Wonder if Saluna was listening. The same symbol as the chest. A prayer to open it. I prefer a blood offering, but all right. Hmm. Can I pray to the chest? Pray to her? No. Subtle steps. This is just down the other way here. Okay. Uh, let's try. Can we read it here? Who has it? We do. A new praying could be useful. I would have started years nice. ago. Nice. I like it. You should leave it, or even destroy it if possible. Nanny. Hi. This rubbish is an offering to Saluna. At best, it's worthless. At worst, who knows? Could be cursed. Do not trifle with that moon witch or her trinkets. Only trouble will follow. Fine. Perhaps 
perhaps you can sell them for a couple of coins. Ah, it hurts. Interesting. Whoa! <laughs> That's damn, dude. Tome describes an ancient initiation rites observed by some who worship the moon goddess Selun. Selune? When a youngster came of age, they would be left to fend for themselves deep in the wilds, then they would show their skills of navigation and self-reliance, as well as their determination to return to the moon maiden's silvery glow. Once they found their way back to their people, their faith and standing as a follower of Selun would be beyond any doubt. Worth this. Where, where, girl! All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Hmm. Selun. Let's go talk to the dudes over here. Ready. Are they still here? There they are. Boop. It's dead. We couldn't have done it without you. Is the cub Thank still eating? You. Oh yeah. I wish Edwin were here. He would have been honored to fight alongside you. What would you have of us now, sir? Ah, huh. we got some options. Um... Edwin told us there was a camp of faithful goblins nearby. Sure. We'll find safe harbor there. Okay. He'd want us among friends. Absolute protect you. I need a quick word. Oblivious to your presence. You said that? Go ahead. I'm listening. I've known people who are hungry for power, but Gale takes it a bit too literally for my liking. I wonder how he does it. Why he does it. <laughs> I'm sure all will be revealed in time, but I don't like it. A waste of perfectly good treasure. How does someone become a vampire, exactly? It's simple. Just find a vampire that will drink your blood and turn you into a vampire spawn. Their obedient puppet. In theory, the next step is to drink their blood. Once you've done that, you're free. And a true vampire. In theory? People think the biggest threat to a vampire is a cleric with a stake. It's not. The biggest threat to a vampire is another vampire. They're scheming, paranoid, power-hungry beasts. So why would any vampire give up control over a spawn to create a competitor? Trust me, it doesn't happen. Hmm. Tell me about your history. Why do you insist on exhuming the past? I was a slave, a vampire spawn, kept by the Tsar family. Perhaps I still am. I was never able to resist their commands, but now I've been conveniently lost. They won't ever control me again. Damn. It's about you biting me. I've already apologized. What more do you want? Unless you're looking for another nibble. Ah! Maybe later? Maybe. But there won't be any more midnight surprises. I can promise you that. What do you make Raphael's deal? I won't lie. It's tempting. If I keep the hey, tadpole, the I risk transforming into a grotesque monster. If I lose the tadpole, Cazador has control of me, body and soul. And I return to the shadows. It's grim either way. 
So why not sell what's left of my soul to a devil? Better he has it than Casador. Wow. Okay. You have other options, better options. I understand the appeal. I'm glad to hear it. Whatever's coming, we need to keep our options open. Have I met myself in game? No. I don't think that's until way later, to be honest. I bet that'll fit in my pack. Yeah, if going from the teaser is any indication, it looks like my character is in or around a big city. And I think that that would probably be, uh, probably Baldur's Gate, which is like literally acts away. <laughs> so it's going to be a long Let's time. See. Mm hmm. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. There's a treasure chest back there up the cliff. Let's go get it. Pickaxe. Let's get the pickaxe. Maybe we can use that for something. If it looks to be something up here. Chance I'll fit in there. Okay. Maybe we need a small race? Not a chance I'll fit in there. I don't think I'll fit through there. Huh. So is this an alternate way in, maybe? And I should have been like a halfling or something. All right, I think we're good here. Let's go. I don't see a chest up a cliff anywhere. Can I shapeshift? Uh, not yet. No, I cannot shapeshift at this point in the game. I get there. Oh, we gotta jump. I can't use a pickaxe either. No, I tried to right click to get a use option. There doesn't seem to be any of that. I'm gonna join the bard. Awesome. I'm loving bard. Yep. The helmet you have allows a shape shift. Oh, I don't think I actually got that. I think it's in my, my chest. I don't want to use DLC items to get around in game challenges though. So, so I'll wait on that. Yep. You can use reduce person. Oh. One with the weave. Uh, that's a hmm. battle heart spell. Oh, I don't know if I have that spell, do I? I don't think I have that spell yet. We have to find it. It's a wizard spell. Yes. I definitely don't have it. We'll keep an eye out for it. Do I have a, maybe I have a potion? What to do? No. I'll keep an eye out, though. I'll keep an eye out. Don't waste a step. Is there actually loot back there, or is it just going to take me to like a different area outside? 